Hey everybody, are you ready to see the latest from Filmora? Dynamic countdown effects. You can now add and configure countdown timers with a single click. Let's check it out. To get to your countdown effects, all you need to do is go to your effects category. On the left side of the screen here, we scroll down to timers. There are currently 50 timers here. Filmora constantly adds things, so you, next time you look, there might be 60. Who knows? Each of these timers is configurable in some way, shape, or form. All of them are a little different. And the one I used in my sample was this one, the circle countdown timer. Let's take a quick look at that one. Let's put it on the screen on the timeline. Scroll over top of it and simply double click. You can change the opacity. You can change its position, X and Y here. You can scale it up and down wherever you need it. You can speed it up. There is text on the screen, so you can scale the text to pretty much gone if you don't even want it, to really big if you need it big. You can also position that text. You can change the text color to whatever you want. Let's pick a nice light blue here. Uh, the ball color, that would be this ball here that goes around. I'll play that for you again real quick. You can see it moving. So you can change that ball color and the ring color. Uh, now that is for this one. Let's bring in a different one. And we'll hover over that one. Well, let's watch it go first. That is a pretty cool counter. Let's double click that and see what we get. So it's currently set for 20 seconds. You can change that. So let's say you need a three second timer. You can change the scale, etc., etc., the coloring. Uh, let's say you don't really want that process ring to be white. We need that to be red uh, and the background color to be white, something like that. See? So now it's a three second counter. Progress bars are pretty cool. This is how this one looks. I've used this one, a particular one a couple times already in my videos. Again, speed it, scale it, opacity, which I do like to use opacity quite often. Sometimes they're just a little too bright for me. I need to just fade them in. And then of course you can change all the other stuff too. I can change the text position. In this case, it's the number. So uh, we can even put the number in the bar if we want, like so. Wild, huh? Now, of course, you probably want that number, that text color number, to be uh, a brighter color. You can change it to red. Red didn't show up too good. We'll put it in blue. Well, whatever. You can change it to whatever you want. And each of these is configurable in their own special way. This one is a uh, percentage, and you can uh, kind of already see what's going to happen here. Start at zero, end at 100. Um, maybe you're doing something that only needs to be 50%. You can zero to 50, change the text, the motion duration. Um, so the duration there is pretty fast, I would say. You can slow it down by telling it how long to be there you can uh, again with the opacity on pretty much all of them so that is the new feature with filmora 11 timers and let me quickly show you how i did the intro i know a lot of people if i don't show you that's the first question i'm going to get and you might see something already you don't recognize and these are markers and i'll show you why i use the marker here in a second and um so I got a lot going on here, but first off, I just went to stock media. I went to Pexels and I did a search for Rocket and um, it brought up a whole bunch of them and I chose this one. So uh, we'll hide these tracks for a second and uh, mute all the sound for a second. And you can just see that this was a Rocket and I edited the clip so you just get right to the, to the launch part of it. And so by itself, it's pretty boring. Uh, so then I brought in the timer. 
So what I did was find the position. Let me hide that one again for you. I found the position that the rocket just left the ground. Okay, so I needed to go backwards from there for my timer to 3, 2, 1 to make it work. So I put a marker there. So I highlighted the clip. I went over here and I added a marker. Then I went to then I went to my countdown timer and found the place where it said one. And I held, highlighted that clip and added another marker. Now originally when you drop this in, it was over here somewhere. So then I just simply took and lined the two markers up. And that's how I timed it. So when it goes, it's timed right there. And I added some music behind it. And I added an explosion sound effect right at the one. And if we mute that music, you can hear the sound effect go off pretty clearly. And that's how I did the intro. Uh, timers are fun. Uh, they're not for every video, obviously. But I'm sure you can find a million and one uses for them. Um, if you're doing uh, exercise videos and you need to be timing something on the screen, if there's a race going on, um, you got one car in front of the other car, you got one runner in front of the other runner, you can time them. Uh, they're just a multitude of things you can do with them. And I think the funnest thing you can do here is configure them. So, uh, you know, this timer is pretty elaborate here. We have lots of moving parts. And you can really get in there and tailor this to your video. So uh, this one is currently in seconds, but you can put this one all the way up into minutes if you want. Uh, let's make it uh, one minute and uh, no seconds. So basically it's 60 seconds. Um, and you can change all the other stuff as well. Let's tone it down a little bit. And then away we go. Now you add some music to that. You scale this down, put it over in the corner, like a little picture in the picture kind of thing for whatever you're trying to time or show the length of time of something that happens. Um, and you can make one heck of an impact in your videos. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on the new timer effects, the dynamic countdown effects, they call it. Uh, I hope you use them. Uh, I use them occasionally. It really just adds that extra little, mm, that little zing to your video uh, that you can only get with Filmora. Uh, most of the other editors out there, they just don't include this kind of stuff. You need to go out and buy add-ons and find things and download them and all that. Uh, Filmora just makes it super easy for you. Uh, and that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you real soon on the next video. Don't forget to click that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. And leave me some comments, guys. See you soon.